So the low porosity line by Creo Botanicals. First up we have her low porosity clarifying shampoo bar. And then next we have the deep conditioner that is protein free. And then last, we're going to be going over the leave-in conditioner. So you guys, the um, shampoo bar itself is made with organic perilla oil and organic spinach. It has a light smell, but very, very pleasant. The deep conditioner is protein-free with veggies and herbs, has a pH of 4.5, very, very creamy. And last but not least is the leave-in conditioner. Um, I feel like this will go a little bit, will go a long way. Also protein-free, okay? So my hair has pre-poo in it. This is the shampoo bar. I would highly recommend when you use a shampoo bar, shampoo in general, your hair needs to be soaking wet. As you can see here, I ain't, I'm not getting to the scalp, girl. You can't see my scalp at all due to the density of my hair. Um, using shampoo bars is very difficult for me, even while I'm in the shower. So what I had to do, you guys, is basically rub the shampoo bar, the product, on my hand and apply it directly to my scalp. In a minute here, you're going to see one section of my hair um, saturate with water because I did uh, step away from the camera to re-wet the shampoo bar and apply it. Shampoo bars can be a little bit tricky. Um, this is the third time I've used one, but I uh, finally got a hang of it. Yeah, finally got a hang of it. So I'm going to continue to apply the shampoo bar to my hair, but look at my curls. Look, look at the curls. <laughs> yes, this is what my hair is looking like and I did end up jumping into the shower to properly wash my hair and like I said it was a struggle but hey it worked out my hair feels clean without feeling stripped this is what it looks like with the shampoo all rinsed out it did take several rinses to rinse it out but it's only because of the thickness and the density of my hair here is the deep conditioner y'all it's very thick I end up placing the jar in warm water um, to help kind of thin it out and yes I love the way it smells all of her products smell really good my hair is currently doing that strange spider web stuff at the roots. So yeah, struggle here with separating my hair. But I'm going to apply the deep conditioner as I stated before. Um, I do have it in warm water to kind of thin it out. I ended up using only half of the deep conditioner, which is really good for me, y'all. Really, really good. So I'm going to continue applying the product in sections. Alright, so almost done here. A little heavy handed, but it's okay. I'm going to place a heat cap on my hair for 15 minutes and then rinse out. So here I am with the product rinse out. Let's go in with the low porosity um, leave-in conditioner. This is what my hair looks like. Very, very soft, you guys, once I rinse it out. This is the consistency of the low porosity leave-in conditioner. Now, I'm going to be honest. When I first applied it to my hair, I felt like it was just sitting on. With this product, you really need to, at least for me, um, rub it in. Make sure that you are taking the time to actually rub the product in your hair. And then, of course, I applied oil on top. Now, this leave-in conditioner goes a long way. I'm looking at it right now, and I can honestly say... I didn't even make a dent in this, you guys. It's going to last me for a very long time. Um, again, low porosity leave-in conditioner with a pH of 4.5 provides hydration and moisture. Now, what I'm going to do, what I like to do personally, I never style my hair the same day, not even the next day. I like my hair to air dry. I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. Oh, mama. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so I have this camera Oh my god, this is an old high eight. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, my little one wanted to show his camera. So anyway, I allow my hair to air dry for a full 24 hours. I also place my hair in large to medium size um, twists 
and either pin my hair up or pull it back in a low bun to allow my hair to stretch. So I'm going to continue to apply the leave-in conditioner. As, as I stated, this is going to go a long way. Um, I don't feel like I need to use any more. I will more than likely use more leave-in conditioner though when I actually style my hair in about two more days. This is the last twist, and now I'm going to go in with more oil. Yeah, you guys, look, I live in the desert. I can be heavy-handed when it comes to oils, plus, again, the density of my hair. That right there was about two and a half to three tablespoons of oil. I'm going to focus on my ends. I'm going to show you a close-up of what my twists look like. Very, very juicy. They feel soft. My hair feels really, really good, y'all. I'm going to unravel one so you can see. Granted, my hair hasn't dried, but when I come back on camp for the style, we will be able to see how well the leave-in conditioner did. So what I'm going to do now is take the time to actually do a quick style for y'all. Um, again, this is something I typically do. Let me back up. When I mean styling my hair, I rarely do a twist out or braid out the same day. I style my hair, quote unquote, by doing a protective style, basically. I either do a twisted updo or, like I stated earlier, a low bun. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. Um, my oldie but goodie is just pinning it up with these three inch bobby pins and just use a head scarf to help jazz up the style. <music> <laughs> now, I will be listing everything in the description box as far as ingredients and price points. Now, her prices range from $10 to $15. She does have both a low porosity and high porosity collection. I really do like the diversity of her products, you guys. For example, one of her newest products is a raspberry plantain styling pomade. Yes, it's basically um, an alternative to petroleum gel or grease. Um, it acts as a sealant and it's made with plantain, shea butter, sunflower. A lot of her products, or I think most of her products have organic ingredients. Again, I will be listing everything below and the description box. So far, I'm really enjoying everything I've been using. I will have to say, as of now, my favorite product has been the deep conditioner, but make sure you stay tuned because I will be doing a three-strand twist out using the mango butter and the leave-in conditioner. <music>
Isn't this a cute scarf? Now look, you guys, I don't pay any money for my scarves. I buy them all from the Dollar Tree. Every time I go there, I just pick up a really cute scarf. And that is it. Um, I can wear this updo all week, but this is going to last me for, for about two or three days because I will be coming back on cam with a three-strand twist out using the leave-in conditioner and also her stylist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye. 